Racist logo and no-go, Netflix takes on late night, and where to find the sexiest women on earth. It's all right here in the Daily Dispatch news trough. Come eat your fill. Just wash your hands first. First up, the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office has finally canceled several Washington Redskins federal trademark registrations. The reason? Good old-fashioned racism. The office stated that at the time each respected patent was registered, it was disparaging to Native Americans. If the ruling sticks, the team will likely be unable to protect any financial interests associated with their name. And that's exactly the point. It's not about money. It's about sending a message. The big change was made on behalf of a Native American group who hopes that the franchise will eventually reconsider its name and its logo. And it's no big surprise, as the Redskins have been under this kind of pressure for a while. Half of the U.S. Senate has been urging the team to change names, stating in one letter that racism and bigotry have no place in professional sports. Tell me about it. I agree. Although it does seem to be a pretty pervasive issue lately. Uh, if I said anything wrong, I'm sorry. Because I'm not a racist. And I've never been a racist. And in related news, other teams that had their logo patents cancelled were the New England Frenchies and the Toronto Mix. Next up, late night talk show host Chelsea Handler has just signed with Netflix to do a series of stand-up specials and eventually an actual talk show in 2016. Netflix, who's had incredible success with Orange is the New Black and House of Cards, now seems to be the hotspot for fresh ideas, and Handler couldn't be happier with the deal. Chelsea was quoted as saying, I wanted to sit with the cool kids at lunch, so I approached Netflix to make sure they were as cool as I thought they were. And when I confirmed my suspicions, like any other future lover, I made my move. She states she hasn't been this excited in a while, and added that the team at Netflix is the most forward-thinking, alert group she's sat down with in ages. Ouch. That's a pretty hard dig at the production team at E! where she's currently under contract until the end of December. Although she did say no offense to the Shahs of Sunset, I can't imagine how they couldn't take issue. So maybe some offense would have been better phrasing? Why? Because I don't like you. We can look forward to seeing Chelsea on Netflix in her comedy special You Gonda Be Kidding Me on October 10th. Something she'll follow up with four docu-comedy specials in 2015 and eventually the new talk show format a year later. I can't wait. Last up, in a very clever bit of marketing, travel dating website Miss Travel conducted a poll of both men and women to find out where the sexiest people on the planet live. The poll was a success, and the results are in. In the top spot for sexiest women to date, men say they prefer South American women. Specifically, Brazilians. That's not a huge surprise if recent picks from Brazil are any indication. Rounding out the top four sexiest places on earth to date women are actually Russia, all right, Colombia, yep, I get that, and lastly, Britain, wait. So, Britain is no longer famous for X-File-like paleness and less-than-ideal dental hygiene? I'm glad to hear it. There have been fabulous advances in the field of dentistry. What do you mean? Women who were polled said they prefer going down under to date. <laughs> yes, indeed, Australian men clinched it for the win there. But not to worry, boys. USA, Canada, and the United Kingdom all made the list of highly dateable men. Yay! Okay, guys, that's it for Dispatch. Please remember to share your comments, tell us what you like and what you don't, but really, we just want you to click every like button you see and share the crap out of this. Thanks for watching, and if you need a hug, I suggest you find a koala bear. Natural huggers. What? They're vicious. Koala bears are vicious. Huh.